We begin our Thielen family story at Franz Joseph Thielen, born April 12, 1806, in Romer Kirchen, Germany, inventor of the Thielen famous farming plow. The image of the plow would later be used as a symbol of our family and used in the family crest. It certainly does say something about our proud farming heritage that continues even to this day. If you have Franz Joseph as a grandfather in your family tree, this makes us cousins, as many of you already know. In 1842, Hubert Thielen Sr. was born in Klettenburg, Germany, to Franz Joseph and Anna Maria Honecker. At age 27, he traveled alone to America on the ship Schmidt and landed in New York September 23, 1869. He settled in an area that is now known as Shelby, Nebraska. He lived for almost two years in a one-room cave he dug in a higher bank by the Blue River southwest of Shelby. This land looked much like Germany and was excellent farmland. In 1871, he sent for his girlfriend, Sibylla Gerlach, age 25, born Isabella, and younger brother August Thielen, who traveled across the sea on a ship called the Bremen and arriving in New York on February 26, 1872. Upon arrival in Nebraska, they immediately began building their framed home. They are pictured here years later after they were all well established into the Nebraska farm community. A story has been passed from previous generations of a covered wagon train of travelers headed west, crossing near Hubert's land and stopping to ask him kindly where they could bury their lost child, Zoe. The generous and compassionate man he was told the travelers to take a spot on the hilltop just east of their home on his property. This began the Union Cemetery, setting aside four acres where many of the Thielen, Bodenheim, Kreiler line are laid to rest, as well as many early settlers. It is one of the oldest original burial sites in all of Nebraska. The resting place for Zoe is still marked and will always be remembered by our family. Hubert and Sibylla raised seven children. The youngest, Hubert H. Jr., born July 11, 1884, pictured front and center. He married Sadie Bell Blevins of German, English, Irish, Welsh descent, born in 1886. We will have a wonderful story on Sadie Bell in a few moments. Pictured to the left is Hubert H. Jr. with his youngest of three and only son, Hubert George Thielen, born February 22, 1915 in Shelby. He is who we pay tribute today. A stone's throw from the Union Cemetery, Hubert Sr. also built a community hall in the 1880s. It was a gathering of neighbors and friends. It had a small bowling alley, chair swings, and a place to hitch the horses. Over time and over the years, it became known to the women in the community as a beer hall and a place for the men folk to play cards on Sundays. In 1909, it mysteriously burned down. And until 1973, no one solved the mystery of the beer hall burning until after the passing of Sadie Bell. Known as a kind, full of life, upbeat and sassy gal to everyone who knew her. She left a note in her Bible addressed to her only son, Hubert George, confessing to the burning of the building and expressing no regrets whatsoever for what she had done. The note went on about how strongly she felt about the men being away from their families on Sundays when they should be at home instead. She put on her father's boots to throw them off the trail. Deanna remembers being there when the family opened the note and hearing them laugh hysterically, saying they always suspected her. It is no surprise that it is through her, this woman, with a special spark for life, 
that we have shared ancestry with the legendary country singer Johnny Cash and Welsh royalty dating back to the 1100s. Levins is one of the earliest names in Welsh records. Interestingly, in 1923, the Shelby Hotel Bar and Grill opened for business. Here is a pic with Sadie Bell now behind the bar with her hand in the cookie jar with her daughter Gertrude and sister Gertie. The bar was closed for many years but reacquired and reopened in 1979 and is currently run by George and Cindy Thielen to this day. Hubert George Thielen always told folks there was always a way to make a little extra money even in hard times. Hubert George, as a young man during Prohibition, ran moonshine for his brother-in-law, Bill Thielen. He sold cars for a dealership out of David City and would get to drive new cars all the time for free. And of course, worked farms for much of his life. In the early 30s, known as a very handsome, enterprising, and ambitious young man, Hubert George would venture out to Hollywood, California. He told the story of dating Jean Darling from the legendary classic, Our Gang for a While. Jean Darling died in 2015 in Rodemark, Germany at the age of 93. Hubert George developed a lifetime love of movies and film production and was known to always have a camera in hand. He returned home in 1936 to help with his ailing father and help run the farm. I'm the grandson of, of Hubert Thielen that came over here in 1867 and settled down on the Blue River, just a few miles south uh, of this town of Shelby. His grandson, George Edward Jr. Thielen, whom many of you met in 2012, is the Thielen family, technical genius man, responsible for producing the images that you are watching now. George Jr. would make a similar venture to Hollywood, seen here in the same spot his grandfather stood many years earlier. Cousin George just recently digitalized and transferred, categorized thousands of family pictures, documents, and films saved now for eternity and future generations to cherish. George remains the Thielen family historian and liaison in the United States and sends his best wishes and hopes to see many of you in a future family gathering. Our Thielen family history is in excellent hands across the Atlantic. Hubert George first noticed Naomi Klobes in younger days, before his Hollywood adventure. A beautiful red-headed, hard-working, happy woman of Irish, English, German descent. Born April 16, 1919. Naomi would often bring her bicycle down to the filling station to have her tires filled up on a regular basis. When Hubert George returned from California, he claims for their first date he took her pheasant hunting. Later on, they would share a common love of going dancing. Hubert, George, and Naomi had three sons and one daughter, 15 grandchildren, and 27 great-grandchildren. In 1968, Hubert, George, and many of his family members traveled to Germany for the very first time. They are pictured here having the time of their lives. They were very happy to finally meet many of your family members. Generations passed, but not forgotten. We keep the memories of family alive by participating in this kind of event. So much thanks to those of you who put this 90th Thielen family celebration together. Your wonderful efforts are very much appreciated, and we honor you today, and we are very blessed to be here on behalf of the many American Thielens across the Atlantic.